Covering Clay County at 6 o'clock, where News 4 Jax has learned this man, the police chief of Green Cove Springs, Robert Musco, has retired under a cloud. The chief has been under investigation for making racist comments to an officer. The city manager tells News 4 Jax while she would not necessarily have fired Musco over what he said, he would have faced disciplinary action. Channel 4's Scott Johnson uncovered the story. He is joining us live from Green Cove Springs with what else he has learned about the chief stepping down. Scott? Well, Tom, this was as the chief was planning staffing for an MLK Day celebration here in Green Cove Springs. This is the complaint filed by the African-American female officer. Says a lot of things in it. One thing that she says is that he told her, quote, I need my token there. You're my token. That led to eventually him retiring just days ago. This issue came to the attention of City Hall in Green Cove Springs shortly after Martin Luther King Day. That's when Officer Kimberly Robinson filed this complaint with the city that Chief Robert Musco made numerous racially charged comments to her. Her initial complaint reads, Chief yelled out and motioned to me, here's my token, get in your token. She claimed the chief wanted her to be present at an MLK Day celebration in Green Cove. She replied, that is my holiday, and I'm going to enjoy the day off. Chief Musco quickly stated, Columbus Day was taken from us for Martin Luther King Day. The complaint adds, there have been many instances like these. I spoke with the Green Cove city manager by phone. At the end of the day, um, the report basically indicated, and the chief never denied that the comment was made. Daniel Judge says that after the city started investigating, they hired an outside agency out of Tallahassee to investigate and it resulted in Musco retiring this past Thursday. I stopped by Musco's listed address in Fleming Island and no one answered. I also found the home was up for sale. I also tried his cell phone number, which has been disconnected. Judd says if Musco had not retired, he probably would not have lasted long at the department. I wouldn't necessarily say that, there, that he necessarily would have been fired, um, but I certainly would have um, asked for some sort of an exit strategy because I consider that kind of behavior inappropriate for leadership. And former assistant chief Derek Asdot has been promoted to temporary chief for now. No word yet on what will happen long term. If he will remain chief, I've put in a call so far. I've not heard a call back. We're live in Green Cove Springs. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, how long after the officer made the complaint did the city take action to investigate? Oh, Tom, that was pretty quickly. City manager tells me she had the Human Resources Department looking into this within 24 hours after the complaint. Tom? Scott Johnson reporting live from Green Cove Springs. Thank you, Scott.